Hello everyone, my name is James and this is Real Biased Gaming. Politics is everywhere, it seems. It is in Star Wars, it is in pop culture, it is hashtagged on Twitter, and it is in our video games. It is in how people talk about them, it is in how they are designed, and how they are marketed. Sometimes in a game it is perfectly subtle, sometimes it is perfectly blatant, but most of the time it is just frustrating or divisive when you talk about games on Reddit, or Twitter, or other forums, because politics always seems to sneak in. Too many times I have heard smart people cry out against this by saying, video games are an escape. I want to argue against that belief today. If you are living your life through an escape sort of lens, then I have to implore you to put down the video games and find some meaning out there. If you hate your job, do something about it. My New Year's resolution was to quit a job in 2018. I checked that one off my list just recently. My life is easily weighing me down half as much. You are sick and poisoning your own existence if you're playing video games to escape reality, or escape your job, or escape your crappy marriage, or whatever it may be. You need to face reality and fix those things, not escape from them. Now then, if you want your video games or movies to be an escape from politics, or to help you get over a lost loved one, or something of that kind, you know, the way that, like, uh, Thanksgiving dinner, right, sometimes families ban talking about politics, <laughs> you're, you're on a better track, but I still cannot recommend using that language, if only because it's demeaning to video games. Video games tell stories. They open worlds to new cultures and learning experiences, and they can, and often are, a personal, be a personal experience with art. They aren't alcohol. They aren't your smoking habit where you need to step out for a few minutes to calm down. They're not your sweet tooth when everyone knows you shouldn't eat candy every day. Video games aren't candy. I, I can't stand that mindset. The mindset of, oh, I know I waste all my time watching Netflix, and I could be so productive right now, you know, but sometimes you just need to escape, you know? Bullshit. Unplugging and relaxing are completely respectable pursuits that the busiest of parents, businessmen, and successful people in general all try and schedule in. Escaping is fear. Escaping is shirking responsibilities and living your life by hiding behind things. Escaping means not living well, if living at all. So don't say you are escaping. Don't use that weak, watery language. Own your life and start by owning that you play video games because you choose to, not because you want to hide behind them. Video games and movies are not your escape from politics, neither are movies. What you need to escape from is poorly written video games and heavy-handed politics and movies, certainly. And you can accomplish that by making conscious choices about what you spend your money and time on. More on that in another video. And that is it for me today. If you have thoughts on what I've said today, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Once again, my name is James, and this is Real Biased Gaming.